Hey guys, well, I'm Mr. Martin here, and welcome to my video review of Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Deluxe Class Spinister. We've finally got an updated Spinister, which I'm absolutely happy with. He's a really good toy, his uh, transformation is fun. And just, he was one of my favourite figures in my top box of 2018, so, so 2019, don't want to brain this today. Uh, so I'm going to review him. It's about time I did another review, you've probably been waiting for one, or have you, who knows. So let's get a look, he's a very vibrant mix of colours, he's, he's like purple, he's very bright neon pink, he's got a really nice translucent cockpit, sorry translucent cockpit, but is that blue or is that green actually, I can't make that out. It's really good, his propellers do spin really well, and so does that one. Which is good, way better than the original Spinister. He's got his two guns, which are his target masters, but if you some G1 warners would say one of these aren't, aren't right, because his original target masters were one was purple and one was black, not blue. But I suppose we picked that blue because it matches with his arm, so we'll take these off. These don't transform, but like the, the battle masters of this line, they are doing everyone's. Target Master, so like we've done miss, we've done aim, aimless, we've done blowpipe, we've done firebolt. We're just gonna keep doing, so yeah, you can take his guns off. Not much articulation. He's got landing gear, and you're knocking the backdrop. Cause he's a long boy. He's big. Look, he's got a good bit of length on him. Underside, yeah, he's got a fake cockpit, which actually uh, someone was he locked down the views from YouTube or. Facebook showed you how you get this to stay plugged in, which is very useful because I was like, what, what's wrong with this? I watched a lot of videos and I'm like, hey, they're not showing you how to do it. But there's a trick which I'll show you when I get to a transformation. So, and you can point and you can plug his guns anywhere. He's got one port, two port. You've got ports up here, but you can't really use those ports because it kind of, see, just really won't go on. So you can plug them on the side, you can plug them down here. But personally, you put one under here because that's a lot, lot more efficient. So, nothing else to really do, so I'll show you a comparison. Let's just get a backdrop out of the way so we can get a better. So, for starters, let's go with his G1 boy. Yes, I have G1 Spinister. And yes, he's got very warped blades. So, as you can see, black and purple. Partners instead of green and blue, teal, blue, or green and violet, purple, or pink, which is good. So, see them side by side. Yes, I do. I don't feel good at transforming into you one toy, they're just the joints, they're not, they're not up for it anymore. They're old. So, there you go. Deluxe comparison here's another siege boy, is blunt. So, chopper and tank. Voyager comparison. I haven't got a seat Voyager in the Echo Tan, so here, last night, Megatron. I think that's a fair, a decent enough comparison. Do a quick bird's eye view for you. Jesson Chopper. And just for the heck of it, do you want to see next to him a masterpiece? Here he is with DS9's La Haya, or Talk Hot Rod. And that's it for vehicle mode, so... Time for the transformation. So, to start off, you will flip in the landing gear. You take this side and you open it up. You now come to the sides and you unplug his arms. They tab one into the foot as well as the side. So, wiggle them both out and don't knock the camera. We won't be filming when you're transforming it, will we? So now you bring his arms down so out of the way. Untap that. Untap that. Do it. Okay, you're doing it the wrong way. Don't break on camera, dingus. Bring these out of the way. And now you fold his leg over, this over. Then you bring this in. Bring this over. Bring this down, untab his foot, 
Nice satisfying on click. Don't worry, that's not anything breaking. So there you go, foot in. Now here comes that bit I was telling you about. You bend, look at you bend this now, you bring his, get his rubber blades folded off and out of the way for, we don't lock into place yet. So now you take this and you unpeg it. And then this, okay, but before you do that, you unpeg that. And now you unpeg, now you do this. Do in the correct order and bring it down. And now I'll show you the trick to ensure this works. You open this and what you need to do is you need to make sure you've rotated his hip all the way up. So now when that folds, if I'll just show you, you fold that over and in, and then you bring it up. Again, just show you quickly. Bring this down, it taps into place. So that's what you do. So just remember that next thing you transform spinister. Then you rotate now, bring this leg down, rotate, which is nice and tight, which I like is nice tight hip joints. And down, and then down. Yeah, there's, I don't know why it's a faux cop here, I'm pro for symmetry. So here you do, now you, so it's on camera, you untap the foot, and you gotta do a bit, and there's a fair bit of rotate, some rotating you need to do. Like this, rotate, spin, rotate, sorry. That wasn't on camera, but sorry about that, so now you bring his legs in. Now you make sure that's done. Now you untab uh, this here and you double hinge this around, and that in turn, after you bring his waist in, and you make sure this is completely up, it brings his chest piece out. There you go, and then that nicely. Clicks into place. You've got to, uh, now you bring this rose plates up as far until we click, and it should soft click into place. Which, of course, is the one to do on camera. There you go. Push it in a little bit. Now you bring the arms down, which are tabbed into the shoulders. And there you go, spinister in robot mode, stand up spinister. So I was just adjusting the tripod, so now let's talk about his robot mode. Look at the D2, he, he's got very nice, it looks, it looks like a licorice's face. His head does rotate, it's on a ball joint, well very limited, but that, especially with that thing in the way. Universal shoulders, door bend at the elbow, is it swivel, no wrist swivel unfortunately, but is it he's just gonna, he's gonna point it straight forward. Same on the other side, waist swivel, kick, really good kick, really good knee bend, and if you want to open up the back panel, which, which is like that, you can get a ridiculous knee bend. So yeah, and he's got, and also thanks to this transformation, he's got ankle tilt, so we get some good poses. And for his guns, you've got many options. You can have him holding by this peg, these pegs. You can hold him by this, look like they've enclosed his fists. Or you can go all hot the hot rod style. Have a arm mounted wrist blasters, which I always I do like a good do like wrist blasters. And because of uh, seeds, you can load them up with bronze or six gun or cog. I I usually use bronze because well Decepticon Decepticon or the Norsebot arm up a Decepticon. So yeah, there we go. So he's a very nice toy, solid Delores. We've got Quake in time's return. We've got Spinister now. Come on, Needle Nose. Okay, so now let's get some comparisons. So let's move out again because some big boys are coming in. For starters, we will bring in, just because I have him to, this, to hand, an already Warrior class figure. Here's Fracture. 
So, so Francis Rovinho, get you gone out of the way so you can, so people can see. Yeah, he's a lot taller than Fratcher. <sighs> Here he is with his wave mate crosshairs. And he's holding his Titus Return boy. No, so Takara Legend boy. Here he is with the Voyager Megatron mold. And lastly, and of, but of course, we will compare him to G1 Spinister, who can't stand up because he's got no. See, he's got he's, he's old, so there you go. He's got he has absolutely no footing. So here you go, Spinister with Spinister. It's like his him and his grandpa. We just see you shrink when you get older. So that's it for Spinister. It... <sighs> Is he good? Yes. Should you guess him? Yes. I do love an obscure grunt Decepticon. I do love his personality. He's an absolute moron. He'll just shoot anything. Like he'll probably pick a fight. He's probably going to pick a fight with a camera in a minute. Hey, hey, Spinister. Nope. Hey, come on. Spinister, you're on camera. Don't attack the camera. Okay, so this has been my review of C's Deluxe Class Spinister. Awesome toy. Absolutely love him. I have zero qu quips about it. Just everything's solid. So it's it's fun. There's an easy fix for that problem with his but canopy not tapping in. So, yeah. Nothing wrong with this figure. I'm just rambling now. Thank you for watching. I've been Rodimus Mine, and I'll catch you in the next review. Who knows when that will be. Bye.